from sophomore on the softball team, and I'm just going to share a little bit about what I've learned this past um, year. Um, to start out, I just want to say that everything that's coming from me, coming from my mouth right now, is not coming from me, it's coming from Jesus, so I'll credit to him. So, um, I'll start out with like a little bit of where I come from. Uh, I didn't make very good decisions in high school, um, just kind of that thing, like I was immature, and some of you might say, well, Jen, you're still immature, but it's the difference between being immature and funny. So, <laughs> um, I came to Iowa for softball. Um, at the time, softball was my number one priority, um, but now it's not my number one priority. Um, when I came here, I recommitted my life to Christ, um, and then I was baptized this summer in New Zealand, which was an awesome experience. So, according to Romans 8 2, Jesus has set me free from my past. So, Amen to that, and um, through my spiritual journey, I've learned a lot about how to love other people and how not to pass judgment, but I think one of the hardest things that um, I've struggled with, and a lot of you might struggle with, is like playing it all for him and like all on the field for him. So the past year, I've kind of grasped that meeting a little bit, um, and it just like starts with like having your heart in the right place. So like I said, softball used to be my identity, um, like all for my glory, not for his. Um, but now, like, my achievements don't mean very much to me anymore back in high school because really, like, nobody is going to remember that. Nobody's really going to care besides your parents. And so um, you're not going to change anybody's life by being in all state or anything like that. So when you really can change people's lives by going out on the field and representing God. So, um, like, what I like to think is, like, will God be um, proud of, like, your achievements if it was all for your glory? And if, like, no, it's not going to be. So... Go out and do it all for him. And so why not, like, put all that you have for the one that will truly care and love you for all of eternity. Because really that's all that matters. So um, instead of being de uh, defined as, like, a player for your sport, be defined as, like, a servant for the Lord out on that field or court or whatever. Um, do the kind of things that um, God would want to put his name on. And so... By that, like, I have not fully grasped that concept of, like, putting it all out there for him. I'm not perfect. Like, it's really hard to, like, get, come to know what that truly means. So, um, yeah, so I'm still working myself, and that's what I challenge you guys to do is just to go out there and know what it truly means to be all for him. 